Well, hey, y'all, this is a boat review video and unfortunately not a fishing video because I haven't been able to catch anything the past few weeks. I know it's been over a year since I uploaded a video. I've been busy. I retired off the road. I've been hanging out with him. Hi. Hi. My son over there. And the wife and the other son had to go to town because our tent had mold. I put it away wet and totally forgot about it. So the camping trip's off to a good start. <laughs> Could only go up from here right so anyway i want to show you guys my fishing boat that i'm going to use and i just got a text on my phone sorry hang on one second this is this is the fishing boat that i am going to use this is the intex mariner 4 and you can get these on amazon i think they're under 400 dollars. they're a great boat i've had this one since 2016 so what's that seven years and i've never had a really a main issue with it if you have to patch these boats, and a lot of people don't buy inflatable boats because they get leaks and sometimes they don't know how to patch it, but if you just buy some shoe goo, and I'll get a video on that if I ever get a leak on this again, shoe goo is the best patch for these boats. I'm going to start off to the back and I'll work my way to the front and show you guys everything on this boat and how I use it. Starting out for the motor, guys, this is a Minn Kota Endura Max 55 pound thrust. It, honestly, it's very overkill for this boat. A 30 pound thrust would push this just fine, but... I wanted this in case it got real stormy or really windy, that, and I could vary the speed on this motor. You can see here it's got, it doesn't have the uh, fixed speeds on it. It's got a, a variable throttle to it. So you could really dial in how fast or slow you want to move. And it's great for when I'm going to troll baits for catfish or if I'm going to troll lures, I could really dial in a good speed. Uh, the motor mount came with the boat. I think I pay, uh, if you want to get it separate, if you buy this boat and you want to buy it separate, it's probably 30 bucks or so. And this right here, this battery is the star of the show. I just received this from Amazon. I don't know how it works yet, but this here is a new TI Power lithium battery. This thing's 150 amp hours. This should last all day with that motor and then some. You've got a little battery meter here. I'll show you your voltage. And it's a 97% capacity. It come from the factory like that. Now, just in case I have an issue with this battery, because if anybody knows lithium batteries, you've got a BMS, you have sensors in here. So if something were to mess up, I do have a backup battery just in case. The little Mighty Max 35 amp hour battery. It's enough to get you to shore if you had to. And that's just going to sit right here, tucked away in this corner. Let me get back out. And guys, if you hear any wind noise or anything, and if the phone's shaky, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not the best camera guy. <laughs> this is the tote I set on. It's just a plain old sportsman's trunk. I keep the life jackets in here for me and the wife when the wife's sitting up here. Uh, I typically don't like to wear one. I need to buy a more comfortable one so I can wear it full time. But I keep life jackets in there, and I'll keep the fishing tackle in here too, which will keep uh, everything pretty clutter-free. I do have this pump here, and I think I'm going to bungee up underneath this 2x4. And now, since I talked about that, let's focus on this 2x4. So what I've done here is I went to my local hardware store, Lowe's, and I bought some pressure-treated 2x4. And a 10-foot stick of this is, I think I paid $12 for it, and they cut it for free for me. And I bought a 10-foot stick, cut it right in half. So this is a 5-foot stick, and the other 5-foot stick's right over here. There's two other pole holders attached to it. And all I did is buy these lashing straps from Amazon, and I strapped it straight to these oars. These ain't going anywhere. You could torque this rod. You could push down hard. It, it ain't going anywhere. Not much to say about the front of the boat. It is a stock boat. But I guess I can go over the, uh, the manufacturer's step over here, so let's go do that. Uh, before I go there, I got this handle here, which is really nice. And you got the grab rope all the way around. So if you fall off this boat, you can get your foot in here and then haul yourself up back into the boat. But you, you shouldn't fall out of this thing. This boat is super stable. I've had it out in wind of as high as 30 miles an hour, three foot waves. I never, I trust this boat more than an aluminum John boat. Let's go over here to the stamp in case anybody's wondering the capacity or how much motor you could have on it. Let me get back in here. All right, so here's the capacity chart. You've got 
Luggage, motor, persons, this is person gear, everything in this boat. This boat is designed to handle 1,100 pounds. Now, if my memory serves me right, this here is a 10-foot inflatable. If my memory serves me right, a 10-foot aluminum John boat, which costs over double the price of this boat, can only handle about 400 pounds. Your inflation pressure on this boat is 1.14 PSI. Now, the biggest thing is people tend to overinflate these, and this is how you get punctures. There's a way around it. Go on Amazon and pick yourself up an inflatable pump. Look at the description. It will tell you how much PSI these things are designed to have, they're designed to push. This particular one is designed to push about 0.9 to 1 PSI, which is about perfect for this boat. If you have the hand pump, you're going to crank it, crank it until this thing feels stiff. And obviously, an overinflation of these boats is all too common. Now, if you do not have a way to buy an inflatable pump like this, let me see if I have it in this bag. These boats, let me put the phone down a second. I do have it. These boats come with this clear ruler tape. And how you use it is you have this line here and you would line this up. And as long as this line here isn't stretched past this, your inflation is okay. All right, so if any of you guys got any questions or comments, Shane's ready to hit the water. Look at him. He's, he's ready to go to the water, aren't you? No, he says, nope, nope. I'm... <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so if anybody, if you guys have questions or comments about this boat, feel free to leave a comment. Hang on, buddy. If you have any questions or comments about this boat, guys, feel free to leave a comment. I'll answer as best I can. But would I recommend this boat? Absolutely. For a family of four, it could fit in here rather tight, so you guys better be comfortable with each other. But for two fishermen, it's it's perfect. All right. Again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. Thanks.